Hi everybody, in this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up your digital hall pass with tutorial tab. The first thing you're going to want to do is to make a copy of the sheet. It's located right above this video. Uh, just make sure you select the one that says with tutorial tab. And as soon as you make a copy, you're going to be given a Google sheet and you'll see they'll have five tabs. Pass, tutorial, search, reasons, and roster. If you watch the other video on how to set up the digital hall pass, it's done the exact same way. We have to set up a roster, set up our reasons, and activate some triggers, and we're good to go. The roster could be imported through Ares. As you can see, this is done automatically. They've already been pasted in. The reasons tab uh, goes along with the hall pass. These are the reasons that students are leaving your class. Uh, whatever you have here, it's going to automatically show up in the drop down here. So if you want to add something else, go ahead and add it, uh, and it'll automatically show up. So once we have the roster and the reasons done, the last thing we need to do is activate some triggers. So you're going to go to Tools, and then Script Editor. When you click on Script Editor, you're going to see the code that allows the sheet to run. You don't have to touch anything in here, so don't worry about that. You're going to click on the clock that says Current uh, Projects Triggers. And down here in the bottom right, you're going to click on Add Trigger. Now we're going to do this four times. Each one will be the same. But we have to set a trigger for On Edit 2, On Edit 3, Installable On Edit, and Installable On Edit 2. They're all done the same way. So we'll start with On Edit 2. We're not going to touch these middle two and on event type, on edit. And all this is meaning is that when we edit the page, this function is going to run and allow the script to work properly. So we'll do that again on edit 3, on edit. Now you might get a pop-up window uh, asking you to verify your Google account to make sure you want it to work with this script, go ahead and just allow that. Make sure you select your work account. And then the last one we'll do is installable on edit two. Once we have our four triggers set up, your sheet is ready to go. So there's our four triggers. So we go ahead and close that tab. You can save the code, close that tab. And the way the hall pass works is pretty simple. It's just three clicks to check somebody out. Uh, first thing we want to do is select a period. You can see that the uh, name, it's going to auto-populate the uh, roster that you had. And then you select the reason. Once again, these are the reasons you chose. And you can see here the time that they leave and the date will automatically be filled in. So you don't have to worry about writing anything down. Um, when they come back, you go ahead and just check the box saying they came back. And the time that they come in will uh, be put in. And the total time out of class will also be calculated. You don't have to do anything. The tutorial tab is done the same way. Go ahead and select the period. Select the student. And as soon as you hit check in, the time that they come in and the date is automatically done. Now the one difference here is the comments column here is that you could put a comment in for any one of the students that come in. If you notice something uh, and you wanna make note of it, you can go ahead and just type it in there. Uh, and then when they leave your tutorial class, you click check out and then the time that they leave will be calculated and the total time that they are in your tutorial class will be calculated as well. The last thing we have to look at is the search function. Now I went ahead earlier today and put in some information uh, for the hall pass and the tutorial tab and the search functions in the same way. We're going to go ahead and start by searching period. So we'll go first period. select our student. The other thing we have here is type. This allows me to go ahead and search either just all the time the hall passes, uh, the tutorial uh, tabs, or you know both. 
So if I just want to look at the hall passes, this tells me that the student has left twice, gives me the reasons, the dates and times, and the total time that they've left class. If I selected tutorial, that's going to go ahead and just give me the times that they were in tutorial, the total time they were in here, and notice that the comments that were written also uh, were uh, brought over as well. If I wanted to see them both, um, you just select both. You can see it's all going to show up. Now, you could leave it on both if you want to. That's up to you. It's not going to matter. Um, it's not going to ruin the script if there's not like information for both tutorial and hall pass. For example, if I select this student, you could see that they uh, came to tutorial, and I could see that they were in there for five minutes, but they never left uh, class. So an NA is just going to show up. It's not going to ruin anything. Uh, but that's up to you if you want to leave it on both or just, uh, you know, hall pass or tutorial. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just another information for teachers to have. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks.